What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so here it is, guys. The final episode to this post-game adventure where we're going to have to take on Swordward and Shieldbert. Now, this all started because we got called back into the Slumbering Wield, and that right there started a chain of events of Dynamax Pokemon attacking every single gym. In well... Instead of Pierce's gym and all that stuff, because he doesn't believe in Dynamax Pokemon. Uh, the other thing, too, is that the Wishing Stars that were collected by Macrocosmo Rose were taken as well. A huge betrayal and whatnot, and... Well, now it is finally time for us to get to the final parts of this. And this involves the two legendary Pokemon that we've actually uh, encountered early on in our adventure. Now... In this episode right here, I am going to try my best to show everything. Show everything from Pokemon Sword and Shield, clip for clip and all that crud. Uh, what's going to happen is that I'm just going to... There's going to be a lot of editing into this this whole video right here, guys, because I, I'm not going to show you the battles between uh, Sword, Sword and Shieldbird because... The only thing different between them is the three Pokemon aside from, uh, what you call it, Surfish, because we already know what's, what's going on right here. But then, once we get to the legendary Pokemon, the clips and everything else, it's going to be the same. Lots of editing, and the capturing of these two legendary Pokemon is going to be there too. So, whew, man, that's a mouthful. Let's, let's just get this going. Um, there is one thing that I need to do too. I need to start buying some items. Hold on. Wait, we got enough of that. Um, let's see. You know what? Max potions don't... You know, max potions can't kill me and all that stuff. We, we do have more than enough money for this and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and uh, fulfill our destiny right here. So, let's go ahead and go back to Hammerlock where it all started. Now, remember, we actually went there to stop a Dynamax Dragon-type Pokemon. Right there, we saw our girlfriend Sonia waiting in near the door where this whole chain of events happened with uh, with Eternatus. So now she's telling us that these two weirdos are right there, and well, it is time to destroy them all. Get rid of them once and for all. And before we do anything, I think I need to do something else right here. I'm not going to switch this guy because we kind of do need him to grow. I, mean, I do have future plans for him. Let's go the way we started. Let's go with Quackwar the Fowl right here. Let's get it going. So as you can see, our girlfriend's waiting. She's like, there's a lift, but it seems you can't use it right now. Oh, wait, that's her. There it is. What? You, you're back already? Hold on a moment. I think I almost got it, huh? That's strange. Yep, yep. Huh. And just like that, we're using Pokemon as tools. To open this thing up right here. It opened! Yamper, I should have known. Thanks for your help. Nump! Big booty Balto. Those two weird guys are probably up ahead. Be careful! Okay, so this is where it all starts. This is actually where it all began with the whole wishing stars and the whole legendary Pokemon. So here we are in the energy plant. And if you guys remember, we were in here taking on Macrocosmos, and would you look at this. So, as you can see on both screens right here, you got Swordward and Shieldbert. Like I said before, guys, the same Pokemon they have is Surfitch. The difference between them is the three Pokemon. I'm not going to showcase any of the battling and all that stuff. That's just, you know, you guys already know. So let's get this started. Well, well, well. It seems that you have broken a lock and rescued the stadiums from their perils. As expected, the champion. You, followers, give them your praise. Oh, look at that. We're getting praise. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Especially you, the one with the grills. What's with these weirdos? They really creep me out. Why are you forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? All the lies and fake stories you all believe. We did it in order to expose the true nature of Zacian and Zamazenta. Zacian and Zamazenta saved all of Galar. Pah! What a fool. 
we have always been rever revered as the resplendent descendants of the real hero. It's all because of the ruffians who had to go and save Geller from Eternatus. And that woman went and wrote a whole book about it all! That's right, that's right. You should be ashamed. Oh, Sonya's not liking this right here. Bro, your hair looks like a dick. I'm just saying it. You said that the real heroes were Pokemon. You just carelessly changed history. What does that mean we are? You dare say that we are, 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 we, you dare say that our esteemed ancestors were liars? Well, I could believe that you two are descendants of the Galarian King. That's right. Compare the, th the things were to the way they are now. It's obvious that the old history was better. It was right. To suddenly start creating heroes left and right, it's complete rubbish. You're wrong. What I wrote was the truth. My hypothesis was the Sassy and, Zeme and Zemizenta have been protecting the Gala region since ancient times. Well then, if we are to impasse, if we are at an impasse, eh, perhaps we should test which the truth is the most truthy. Not a word, by the way. If things are really as you say, then even if we bombard them with Galar particles, they should remain calm and stalwart. I get it. So all those sudden Dynamax Pokemon from before were just were just your little experiments. You seriously want to make the two Pokemon uh, that saved us uh, all run amok? Hmm. It seems you are indeed capable of understanding something. Yeah, I'm surprised too, huh? My adorable younger brother is wrapping up the preparations above. You think we'll let you get away with this? Oh, <laughs> so you want to take a lift up, huh? Then you'll have to defeat us. Okay, so I guess it's a all-out Pokemon battle right here. Alright. Gattaca, let's go. This time I shall show you the opulent power I or the opulent Pokemon I have raised explicitly for this battle. Okay, alrighty, so here it is. As you can see, you're seeing both taking on Sword and Shieldbert right here. Now going into Soul Word, or Sword Word, I can't even say his name right. He's coming out with his, uh, well, his uh, Surfitch right here. So might as well do the same thing. Quack or the Foul. Let's get it. Brave Bird Attack. Who's faster? That's me. Look at this. Brave Bird Attack for the win. Oh, yes. Yeah, you, you raised up some pretty cool Pokemon, but yeah. I got levels amongst levels right here. And look at this. Baconator grows to another level right here. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Dewblade right here. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Do we have any kind of Dark-type moves? Oh, yeah, that's with the other Pokemon. Screw it! Baconator. It's a Fire-type. It can burn it to crisp. That's right. Okay, so let's go, Baconator. Okay, let's go, Dewblade. What do you got? What do you got right here? So let's go right ahead and use a Burn-Up right here. Even though it does have, uh, even though he does have a nice amount of uh, Steel Tap Pokemon right here, so there we go. Burn up does the trick, finishes off Dew Blade, and well, it burns itself out. But we get more levels for Godzilla. Godzilla, and he wants to learn Scary Face. That right there, I'm not going to teach him because not useful right now. So here he's going to be coming out with a Bi Sharp. Let's go right ahead and just continue on right here with uh, Baconator. Let's go with another Burn Up Attack. And it failed. Oh, crud. Okay, so that is one issue. That is one big issue, and that is that, yeah, well, you can only use Burn Up one time. So let's go again with the Fire Lash. And that takes care of by Sharp. Holy crud. You know, I could have finished this guy off, like, right away right here. So there we go. More experience points for all of us. And here he's going to be coming out with a Galissapod. Let's go... Uh, let's go with uh, good old Michelangelo. Let's go with Michelangelo with the, for the win right here. So, how you doing there? I understand you want to get it over and done, or lose. But why won't you enjoy the battle again? Okay, let's go. For the Galissipod, we're going to use a head smash right here. But here comes a first impression attack. That right there. 
doesn't do anything, but here comes a head smash attack for the win. Eat it, Galissapod. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, of course, we're going to take a nice recoil, but it was worth it because we grow more levels. Godzilla, Godzilla, level 40, and Swordward has been defeated. <laughs> Oh, yes. As you can see, it's the same kind of thing for both guys. So, there we go. We're getting points. We're doing everything. And so I am defeated. We've driven him back. Now we can head up to the roof. Oh, damn. Okay, so, th uh, yeah, that, that's, that's scary right there. That is scary. What was that sound? Ah, well, it appears my younger brother was given enough time. Should we head up? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Well. This is where the legends are made of, guys. We are about to embark on another legendary battle. And I kind of want to be prepared for this one right here. So let's go with the uh, full restores. Yes, I know. I've been using a lot of full restores. No, not, not a lot, but still some. And, well... Let's go right ahead and take care of business right now. Let's go ahead and take care of business. We're gonna take care of nothing but business right here. So, like I said, guys, you're gonna be seeing both clip screen uh, cutscenes from both games right here. So let's get this going. Bring it on! Whoa! I did it! I did it, older brother! That sounds like a Saiyan sound, like the Super Saiyan kind of sound. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> damn. Looks like it came following after the Rusted Shield. Or the Rusted Sword. I've bombarded it with Gallard Particles. Cool, Grogon. Stop, Zamazena is in pain. This is all because I let them get away with stealing that Rusted Sword. You need to cool it down, man. You need to literally relax and stuff. Yes! Expose your true barbaric brutish nature. And reveal to us exactly who the false kings are. Oh, damn. As you can see, both brothers are not... Yeah, they are not having a good time with this guy. Beep! Oh, younger brother! Don't attack me. Go into town and sow as much destruction as you can. Grr. It's trying to suppress and, cal or suppress and calm itself, but it can't control the power. Zamazenta. I was hoping we could just calm it down like we did with the others, but our opponent is a legendary Pokemon. If you're thinking about catching it, think again. I hate to admit it, but if anyone can stop it, it's got to be you, Draven. I'll keep everyone else safe down here, so don't, so you don't have to worry about a thing. You just focus, focus on calming down Zamazenta. It's coming, Draven. Oh, damn. Okay. Here we go. So here it is, guys. Both, both clips, Zamazenta and Zacian in their base form right here. As you can probably already tell, Zamazenta has a, uh, let's see, what was it called? Uh, it does have, do, 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 it, well, it's special defense and all that stuff. Well, you know what, screw it, let's just go ahead and battle it, because I really don't need to do anything else. Okay, so, here we go. Zamazenta, of course, is a fighting-type Pokemon, while Zacian is a fairy-type Pokemon, so trying to defeat this guy is going to be a little, a little harder than usual. But your goal is to try and capture this guy right here. So here we go with the Leaf Blade. And that right there was a critical hit. And, well, let's go ahead and use a Throat Chop. Or, you know what? What happens if we throw... What happens if we throw an Ultra Ball? As you can see, you can't throw a Pokeball right here because... This, is, this Pokemon right here is not for the capturing in this version or in either vo version right here. It has to be the, well, the mascot one. So we're going to have to defeat this guy right here. So here we go, Brave Bird. But here comes a Crunch Attack. Okay, and... Well, here goes the Brave Bird. Time to finish this guy off right here. 
And that right there takes care of Zamazanta. As you can see on the other side of the screen, Zassian has been defeated as well. And bam, we get an increase of a lot of experience points. Now this is the Pokemon that we're not supposed to capture in the perspective versions. This actually controls it, as you can see. Woo hoo! Zamazenta, are you all right? And well, it well it goes up to hop. Bam! And right when it's about to attack hop, look who comes in. Its counterpart. Aru. Zacian. Rough. Now, these guys could be the legendary dogs. I could say that myself. I mean, I don't know. But woof. Thanks for saving me, Zacian. And, well, just like that, the counterpart Pokemon runs away. Looks like it still can't control all that power. I don't like this, Draven. Not one bit. I'm going to go after Zamazenta. Now, if you're in Shield version, he's going after Zacian right here. Weakling. And this belongs to Zamazenta, not you. And look at this. Taking back the Rusted Sword and Rusted Shield. And Hop, of course, is going to go on his way for the legendary Pokemon in whatever version it is. And here in Pokemon Shield, we're going to be taking on Zacian, who protected the... well. Hop and well, Shieldbert right here. He's like, yeah. Please don't hurt my younger brother. I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna yell out, Zacian. Whatever. That's right. Looking at the eyes right here. Look at my eyes. Kill him. I'm just playing. As expected of the champion, you took complete control of the situation. Plus, it looks like the Pokemon is waiting for you. Hmm. Well, there it is, guys. We are going up against this guy right here, or that guy. You guys can see it right there. Um, so, it's time. I'm going to narrate both battles right here, guys. That way, you know, you guys don't get so confused. So, here we are in Shield version. Let's go right ahead and capture this guy right here, Zacian, the legendary Pokemon of Pokemon Sh uh, Sword. Let's go. Zacian gives you a calm look. Ready the uh, ready the rusted sword to catch Zacian? Yes. Lord. Okay, so here it is. Zacian has appeared in its, well, I want to say its prime form right here. And look at this. We are about to embark on a very, very popular battle right here. So Zacian has an intense look on its eyes. And here's its intrepid sword. It makes it even powerful than before. Now, like I mentioned before, Zacian is a fairy-type Pokemon, a fairy and steel-type Pokemon, now that it has its prime form right here. So... What we're trying not to do is we're trying not to make this guy faint. And here comes a sacred sword attack, and that nearly destroys Quackor. So let's go Throat Chop. We're going to try and go for uh, attacks that just doesn't make this Pokemon faint. But here comes a Crunch attack. That makes Quackor faint. Now, if all else fails, I... Yeah, I'm going to go straight for the Master Ball. There, I don't necessarily think there's other Pokemon there that can, you know... You know that we can uh, we can hurt or anything like that. So let's go right ahead and go for someone that is not strong. Let's go. Oh crud. Okay, so let's go with uh, Blitzkrieg right here. It does have Thunder Punch. It could paralyze this guy. Alrighty, let's go. Thunder Punch. And here comes a Sacred Sword. Not so effective. And here comes the Thunder Punch. And I'm. I'm, I'm afraid of using this attack one more time. So let's go right ahead and use an Ultra Ball. See what see what happens right here. Alrighty. One. Two. 
Oh, nearly captured this guy right here. So here comes a sword stance. So now it's going to be uh, heightening his attack just a little bit. So yeah, we got to be careful for this guy now. So uh, crud baskets, crud baskets. If I use a boom burst, it's going to make this guy faint. All right, let's see. If I go for bacon, oh yeah, you know what? Let's go for baconator right here. It is a fire type Pokemon, so it will not be damaged. Well, it, not, it will not be hurt as much, but hopefully it just doesn't faint. And here comes a crunch attack. Super powerful. And, well, let's go for a lunge attack right here. Come on. Zacian going for that sword stance. So it's powering itself up. It's becoming a very, very strong Pokemon right now. So let's go for that lunge attack. And that right there wasn't effective, but... It does lower its attack, so let's go ahead and use one more lunge attack. Zacian going for that crunch. Good gravy. Okay. Alrighty, so... We're kind of in trouble right here. We need to put this guy in the red, and if I make this guy faint in the first try, I'm going to be embarrassed right now. So, let's go with Godzilla Godzilla. Come on, baby. Alrighty, so let's see. Let's go straight for an... Uh, Okay, let's go for crap baskets. Let's go for a Ultra Ball right here. Hopefully, we can actually capture this guy right now. And here we go. One, two, come on. Three. Oh, <laughs> nearly. And here comes its specialty attack. Behemoth Blade, and wow. Sans Godzilla to the Shadow Realm. Holy bejeebus. Okay, so... Alright. This is... This is getting, uh... This is getting, uh... Very, very... This is getting very intense right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, switch it out to... Our good old buddy Blitzkrieg. And if all those... All else fails, we're just gonna have to start throwing a Master Ball at this guy. So... Here we go. Another Ultra Ball. Come on. One... Two, come on, stay in that ball. Damn it! This guy is not going down quietly. And well, yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, we're we're fucking up badly right here. So <sighs> we're down to two Pokemon right here. And good gravy, we should have started with uh, this guy. Okay, so let's see. If I go for a Body Slam, I have a fear that it might make this Pokemon faint. So, yeah, let's go straight for a Timer Ball right here. We do have four of these little bastards, so let's go ahead and see if it actually captures this guy. Come on. Good God! Okay, so here comes a Crunch Attack. This one right here is not going to make my Pokemon faint, so let's go ahead and throw another Timer Ball. Come on! Good gravy and oh my god <laughs> he is straight up mauling our Pokemon right here okay so I got one more Pokemon right here and I, I really don't want to do this but I have to guys I kind of have to let's let's go for it so I have no other choice but to go for the Master Ball right here now Let's see if there's any other... You know what? Screw it. We can't do... We can't use the Master Ball. Uh-uh. I am not letting myself doing that. So, we got a few max revives. Let's go straight for Baconator. We're going to revive our Pokemon. We're going to capture this god dang thing in a regular Pokeball. I don't want you guys saying that. Oh, he took the easy way out. All right. Here we go. Who's the next Pokemon that could potentially give this guy a run for its money? Let's go Michelangelo as well. And there we go. We got two Pokemon who are revived. And there goes Optimus Prime. So right there, he's just like destroying our whole team. Okay, Baconator. You got a lunge attack. Let's go for it. Luckily for us, it did not lower its defense. Let's go lunge attack yet again. And Sacred Sword takes a little bit of our points. So here we go with the lunge attack. 
And that puts it in the red. And there we go. Okay, so let's go for it. Let's go for an Ultra Ball right here. Come on, baby. Stay in the ball. Come on. One, two, three. Stay in the... Yes! Yes! Oh! Look at that. Just putting it in the red and it destroyed all my Pokemon right there. Holy crud. So here it is, guys. Zacian's uh, Pokemon uh, information. Zacian, the warrior Pokemon. It is a fairy type Pokemon. 9 foot 2, 242 pounds of pure freaking brutality. Hero of many battles. Known as a legendary hero, this Pokemon absorbs metal particles, transforming them into a weapon it uses it to battle. That's exactly what it did, and, well, I am not going to nickname this guy. I am going to... Well, let's go ahead and put it in our team. Let's put it in our team. Let's go ahead and switch out Godzilla Godzilla for the time being, because eventually we're going to have Godzilla very, very strong, like super strong. Very, very strong, as you can see. That's right. Wow. Brilliant! Seems like you've all, you've been recognized by real royalty. And just like that, we're being recognized in both perspectives right here, guys. Ah. What a sublime battle. We were, we were so preoccupied with fussing over who the new king was, how terribly uncuth-like. Hey, you, spiky head! Ugh. Why should I, I, why should I go expecting those two to start learning some manners now? My older brother and I will atone for our crimes. Please escort us to appropriate police or place. If you really want to atone, what's with uh, that posh superior attitude? Ah, whatever. Draven, I think you under, I think I understand why you became the champion. But please don't go calling me anymore. Seems like I am only getting called out when you're in a sticky situation. And look at this. We get ourselves a lead card, which is cool, cool, cool. Professor Sonia. I can't ask you to forgive me, but I am truly sorry for deceiving you. I was really hurt at first, but I rallied. But I've rallied, I should say. Thank you. I ended up quite learning a, a, a bit. Ugh. That came off a bit more sarcastic than I thought it would. <laughs> well, please continue to do your best as professor. Well, hello there. Righto, we stopped them from causing any harm. Still, I hope Zamazenta is okay. And just like that, we're getting a phone call. And yes, our Rotom phone's like, well, Draven, your Rotom phone probably, I hope, Hop Reckon or something, I don't even know. Hello, Draven? I was just... Whoa! Hey, calm down! Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I, su I suppose you heard that. Yeah, I got Zamazenta here with me. Uh, are you okay? Zamazenta started going crazy, so things have been better, but I've been hanging in there. I could sure use your help, though. Could you get over uh, here as quick as you can, would you? I'll be waiting for you in the heart of the slumbering wield. He sure sounds like he's got his hands full. Guess some things never change. Oh, damn. Lord! Even in its Pokeballs, Zacian seems worried about its partner. We should go to the Slumbering Wheel and see how Hop and Zamazenta are doing. Okay. Alrighty, so... Uh, we have to go to the Slumbering Wheel, guys. So, give me a second. Let me prepare for this. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so this right here is our battle against Zamazenta, the shield Pokemon, and Pokemon Shield, by the way. And look at that. Oh, damn, he's ready to go. The intense look in his eyes, ready. Oh, damn, ready to kick some ass and take some names. Now, if you guys notice, yeah, Blitzkrieg has been through the ringer against its uh, counterpart, uh, Zacian. And, well, just like that. Knocks out my Blitzkrieg. Holy crud. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna be we're gonna be using the next Pokemon right here. Now the next Pokemon I was thinking of using is Mr. Rhyme. 
mainly because ice type don't really hurt that uh, don't really hurt fighting types very much so let's go ahead and use a dazzling gleam see how that works out and here comes a behemoth bash its specialty move holy crud uh-oh oh damn that did not sound good holy crap and well because of that we're gonna go with a dazzling gleam and that really that hardly does anything at all so let's go ahead and see if it, we can do another dazzling gleam as you can see it's pumping up its iron defense right here so oh god holy crud okay so dazzling gleam hopefully for the win nope not for the win please buff up your stats again and no here comes a slash attack so the goal is to try and get this Pokemon weakened up and everything so yeah okay so can't use that guy but we could use this guy now the good thing about Pokemon Shield is that my Pokemon are at within the level 70s not all of them are level 80s so let's go ahead and see if we can get with the spirit break right here now the only thing is that this guy is a little bit faster than us a lot faster and here comes its specialty move yet again hitting us everything with everything it's got doesn't even let us get a t an attack off holy crud okay alrighty so you're, you're you're really barking up the wrong tree here homie so here we go dead shot come on let's get it Let's go with the snipe shot, see how that works. And yes, dead shot is faster than this guy. So here we go. Snipe shot. Hits it pretty hard. Nearly makes it faint right here. So here comes another behemoth bash. Holy crud. Yeah, this guy is not playing around. Look at that. Hits us, doesn't make us faint. Jeebus, okay, so I guess we could use Ultra Balls, right? Not the Beast Ball or the Master Ball, but we do have plenty of Ultra Balls right here, so here we go, Ultra Balls. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in there. Oh, God dang it. Okay, so yeah, this guy does not want to go down quietly, so let's go ahead and hit it with the U-turn right here. Come on, baby. Oh, wow that right there <laughs> oh, damn. okay so that wasn't good at all and yeah let's go right ahead and go with Drago right here so let's get it Drago and <laughs> here comes a slash attack from Zamazenta and that wasn't enough so let's go ahead and use another ultra ball right here come on baby stay in the ball god dang it okay so this Pokemon it's probably the tougher of the two because it only took me like three Ultra Balls to capture the other one. So, uh, don't want to attack it again. Come on, Ultra Ball. I'm kissing you four times. Please keep him in that Pokeball one. Ah, damn it. Okay. All right. So, it's playing Hardball. It's playing a lot of Hardball, and I'm just letting Drago take a hit here and there. So, let's go ahead try it again. I know this Ultra Ball can work. I do not want to use any of the Master Balls, and... Oh, look at that. Getting slashed up by this Pokemon just because. Come on, Ultra Ball. Work for me, baby. There we go. One. Damn it! Okay, so Zamazenta is quickly becoming... Quickly becoming a Pokemon I don't like. Yeah, his, his defense is going up, so... If we hit it with a physical attack, it more than likely will stay in its Pokeball and all that, or it will stay in the red. And here comes another slash attack, so there we go. Fainted. Good gravy. Yeah, just like Zacian, it's kicking my butt. So here we go. Dead shot. Let's try this one more time. Hopefully we hit it with a, with a very good, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go with a U-turn attack right here again. So there we go, U-turn, putting it in the red right here, and we're switching out our Pokemon right now to Kragatoa. Now there is a bit of a risk because Zacia or uh, Zamazenta is a uh, fighting type Pokemon too, and here comes its Iron Defense. Okay, all right. I see that you buffed up your your defense, but you're in the red right now. So let's go. Come on. Stay in the ball. 
thing. Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, this guy is, uh... Yeah, this guy is not being cool with it. So, let's see if we have a timer ball here. And it looks like we do. We have 11 of these bastards. So, let's go ahead and see if we can capture it with a uh, timer ball. And, as you can see, it is not giving me a nudge. So, here comes another iron defense. It's already maxed out its defense, so let's go ahead and just throw these timer balls. Hopefully it actually works. There's one. Good God! Come on! Zamazenta, you are a hard Pokemon to actually please, so here we go. Come on, stay in the ball! Stay in the goddamn ball! Three! There we go, there we go! Yes! Yes! So there you have it, guys. We captured Zamazenta, the legendary shield Pokemon. So let us move on to what eventually happens after capturing these Pokemon right here. In this Zamazenta, the warrior Pokemon, it is 9 foot 6, 463 pounds of pure freaking annoyance. Hero to many battles, this Pokemon slept uh, for eons while in the form of a statue. It was, sleep, it was asleep for so long that people forgot that it ever existed. Okay, so there you go, Pokemon reading. Uh, there we have it, guys. Let us move on to what will be the final clip of this whole series right here. So, I'll be right back with you guys. So, that was a clip of me capturing Zamazenta in Pokemon Shield. That was pretty tough. Very, very tough. So now, it is time for us to face the last part of this whole adventure right here. And that is going into the Slumbering Wield. Now, there is a little bit of a something we need to do. And that is heal our Pokemon. Because they've taken quite a beating. Including in Pokemon Shield. And, uh, look at that. Brings back memories. Not some, not, not some good ones right here, but yeah, lots of bad memories. So here we are coming out of the Pokemon lab, and I guess we are the saviors of Galar yet again. Now the thing is we actually have to go back to the Slumbery Wield close to where we live, and uh, I guess Hop needs our help. He needs our help in some kind of way. So let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon first. And then let's go ahead and talk to the annoying kid that, you know, is our neighbor and whatnot. So here we go. Healing up the Pokemon. Look at this. A nice team. Oh, yeah. So we're ready. We are ready to go, guys. Okay. Whew. Okay. All righty. So we're, 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 we're kicking some ass, taking some nades right here. Okay. So... I don't need to walk, I don't need to, you know, get on my bike or anything. We need to just fly. So let's go straight to the Slumbering Wield. Uh, I think we can actually fly right here in Postwick. So uh, here we go. Going into Postwick. And we're back home. So everybody's ready to go. And, uh, well, one thing that I kind of don't like is the fact that we have to walk through all these... Uh, these uh, wild Pokemon, but look at this. Our girlfriend Sonya's right here. She's like, want me to show you to the center of the woods where Hop is waiting? Sure, please help me out. All right, let's get a move on. And just like that, we avoid, you know, all these Pokemon. And, well, as you can see, the clip right here, you see both in, in, in Sword and Shield version, two different kinds of Pokemon. This is an incoming battle for the ages. So let's go ahead and talk to our uh, not so good buddy Hop right here. Look at that. The clips. Oh uh, yeah. You don't have to lose control. You can manage this. I know you can. You're the true hero pro who protected the Gallo region after all. Rrr. Bark. <laughs> Oh, got everything under control? See, I knew you could, uh, you could do it, champ. Hop, you look you look a fright. You made it. Ah, uh, and yeah, well, I was just focused on trying to calm down Zamazenta, so sorry, rushing in and trying to calm the legendary Pokémon or the legendary hero on the uh, hero head on was awful reckless. Bark. 
I'm not even going to say that Hop is amazing. I'm not going to say that because he is not. So I'm just going to go, it looks happy. It really does look happy. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Though I can tell you, I can tell you, things were looking pretty dire here at first. Cool. What? Wait, really? You you sure about this? What did Zamazenta say? That it thinks it's worth that I'm worthy of it. That I'm uh, that I'll uh, it'll become my Pokemon. You don't say. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. Wait, seriously? That's totally crazy. Yeah, I know, but for storyline and all that stuff, yeah. I guess you can become your Pokemon. Is it... Is it really okay? Alright, here I go then. Man, you're gonna throw the Pokeball like that in front of him? Like, inches? Oh my god. And he caught it with a Pokeball. Oh, this is some true BS. This is some true BS right here. <sighs> Anywho, he's caught himself a legendary Pokemon. Now, he didn't have to struggle for his Amazenta. He didn't have to. No. He was just like, he just, all he had to do was be five inches from that Pokemon and just, you two are really something. I still don't quite see anything like that in myself yet. But thanks to your help, I'm starting to. Draven, I've got a favor to ask. Though, I hate to look like I'm copying the po- Though, I hate to look like I'm copying the posh jerk bead. Still, I want another battle against you. Everything started right here. In the slumbering wield. <laughs> you sure about this? Oh my god. Okay, well, <sighs> this is it, guys. This is it. So, it all comes down to this one battle right here for our little post-game adventure. And, yes, we already know what kind of Pokemon he's coming out with. I think I'm more than ready to just beat this guy down. That's right. I'm going to beat him down. I'm going to humiliate him. So, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. This will be a proper battle, Draven. You sure you're ready for me? Always have, always will be. All right, let's go, Draven. So here it is, guys. The final battle against Pokemon Trainer Hop. And, well, obviously he's going to start off with his double. And now he does have a full team of six. He was just waiting for that one Pokemon right there. Let's do it, Draven. Don't hold anything back. Look at this guy. The ball's on him. So here we go. Let's get a Meteor Assault on him. And, well... How that Pokemon's faster than mine, I do not know, but it just messed up right there because here comes Meteor Assault. For the win, eat it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I, I love nothing more than to embarrass this kid. Okay, so who he's coming out with? He's going to come out with a Corviknight. So let's go straight to our man, the myth, the legend, the Blitzkrieg. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get it, Blitzkrieg. Time to show this Shadow Chicken what it's all about. My goal is always to surpass Lee, but he's not a champion here. I'm not sure what my goal is now. Uh, to bugger off. That's 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 pretty much the goal right there, to bugger off. Hope I'm using that reference right. So here he comes out with a Corviknight. Here comes an overdrive attack, and well, it's time to feel the zappy zap. Look at that. Oh. 69, motherfucker, 69. All righty, so there's another Pokemon down. And, well, he's about to come out with a Snorlax. Snorlax? No problem. Let's go straight for... Uh, Quack or the Knight? Uh, uh, Quack or the Fell again. You see, there's your problem. You're just using the same type of Pokemon. Your biggest flaw is fighting type Pokemon. You and Sonya, Sonya followed your own pass. I was the only one left behind trying to catch up. Man, you need to stop talking in this battle. You need a battle, man. So, here we go again. Meteor Assault. Yes, Quack or the Foul. Stronger and faster than this guy right here. So, here we go. Quack or the Foul. Finish him. Oh, yes. No more Snorlax. Say goodbye to this guy right here. Oh, yes. And, well, there's more experience points for all of us. 
And he's about to come out with an Inteleon, so let's go right ahead and just humiliate this man. Let's go again with Blitzkrieg. We don't even have to use that many Pokemon to just beat this guy. We really don't have to. Now, if I sound like a cocky asshole, it's because for the longest time, guys, I don't, I never thought that I would hate Barry as much. But I went saving that Pokemon, yada yada yada, I realized I could help other people! Never thought that I would find somebody as more annoying than Barry. But we found him right here. So here we go. Let's get it with an overdrive. And here comes a snipe shot. Oh, damn. Snipe shot doesn't do much. Here comes the overdrive. And, well, overdrive does the thing right there. All righty. Okay. All righty. So there we go. Getting experience points from every single one of us right here. And, well, he's about to come out with a Pinkurchin. Pinkurchin? I don't know how to pronounce that name. It's okay. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight for the man, the myth, the legend. Let's go with Optimus Prime right here. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, all righty. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. So he's gonna be coming out with this guy. I wonder how I wonder how he can actually beat me right now. So let's go right ahead and just use the uh, well. Let's go right ahead and use Bulldoze attack just to finish this guy off right here. So here we go, Bulldoze nearly beats Pincher uh, Pincherchin. Pincherchin. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Sorry if I'm jabbing it. And well, here comes the poison jab. Not so much for the win. Let's finish this guy off. Bulldoze attack for the win. Oh, yes. Look at that. Pinkurchin defeated. Okay, look at that. And, well, he's got one more Pokemon. How fitting would it be than a showdown right here of Zacian and Zamazenta right here? So let's go right ahead and get it going now. Here is the difference between the two of these Pokemon. I think I got the best one mainly because, well, when I want, uh, comes out the victor, yada, 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 this kind of strange feeling. I'm having, do you feel it too, don't you? I'm just going to be like, no, not really. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, no, not really. What? It's embarrassing if I'm the only one who's feeling it. <laughs> then laugh, cry all you want, but this is the end. I'm just saying that because I don't like you, man. I really don't. So... As you can see, we got two of the legendary Pokemon right here. And he's got himself his Dauntless Shield, vice versa, you know, the whole shebang. Now, the difference right here is this. This Amazenta, which is Hop's Pokemon, is a fighting and steel type Pokemon. It has three different weaknesses, fire, fighting, and ground. While I have Zacian, a fairy and steel type Pokemon. The only two weaknesses it has, fire and ground. So... Looks like I got the advantage right here, so let's go right ahead, use that sacred sword attack right here. Oh, yes. And, well, here we are taking it. And here comes the Behemoth Bash. And I think Behemoth Bash is a steel type move, so it won't be as much as what it was. And that right there hits me pretty hard, so look at that. Let's go ahead and use the Behemoth Blade. Okay, time to do it. Time to finish this guy off. Oh, yes. Finishing move. Finish it. And just like that, that's how you beat Hop. That's why I didn't feel that feeling. Eat it, Hop. <laughs> Dog stomped you. And look at this. More experience points for all of us. And there goes Hop. Oh, yes. Thanks to you and Lee, I'll keep getting stronger. I know it. And, well, yeah, Victor, champion, what have you. Whew, look at that. That's our greatest champion for you. You really are strong, Draven. But getting to beat the, or getting beat this time, it felt a little bit different. I may have lost, but I feel great. You know what, Draven? I think I found a dream of my own. I want to be someone who can help Pokemon that would, that they, that are in trouble, wherever they are. I think I want to become a Pokemon professor. Oh, great. I started thinking I might, I might when uh, we were going around all the stadiums and help Pokemon when they were running out of control. 
I know I don't have know enough about Pokemon yet, and I've got, got no experience for the sort of thing, but I'm going to study and learn a whole lot, and someday I'll become a sort of professor that you, Draven, and Sonya would be proud to know. I'm going to take a different path than you and Lee are taking, Draven, but I'll still always think of you as my true rival. I still, I still don't plan on losing to you. I'm just going to be like, I still don't plan on losing to you, homie. Uh-uh. Not like I plan losing to you either. Even if our goals are different now. We'll always be proper rivals, you and me. Ah, uh, no fair. You two, you two are so young and cute. I'm tearing up. Sonia, getting a bit whippy in your old age, eh? Hey, man, don't be calling her old. What the heck? That's my girlfriend. I gotta smack you. What? I'm still young and super energetic. Say, Hop, fancy becoming my assistant at the lab? What? I've got all the books and data on Pokemon you could ever want. Since you want to be a professor someday, I'll oversee your, start your studies. Then I definitely want to. Only you sure I can really uh, be a help to you? Of course. Mind you, it'll be a lot of work. Work's really been piling up since I lost my first assistant. Wait, so what do you really mean is, is you're offering me a position to help you out? Ah, fine. I'll still do, do a bang-up job. You'll have my bag too, right, Draven? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Probably. Yeah, sure, why not? And look, we got a lead card from, from this guy right here. And, well, there's a clappity clap right there from both uh, the Swordward and Shielder, or whatever his name is, Shieldbert. Well, well, well. Now, that certainly was a splendid battle and refreshing back and forth. And not... Uh, well, 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 now. That was... That really touched my heart. Huh? Swordward, Shieldbert, with Piers? And even Lee? What are you lot doing here? No need, uh, no need for noise makery, young lady. We have come to meet the young master Draven. They didn't get a chance to properly apologize yet. And I'm here to keep an eye out for them. They did technically descend from the original kings of Galar after all. Seems you lot have been up to all sorts of things while I was stuck at the Rose Tower trying to take care of the mess the chairman left behind. You have no idea. Those two were forcing Pokemon to Dynamax all over the place. And for that, we are really, truly sorry. Look at our sorriness. We thought, well, we thought of ourselves and we brought harm into innocent Pokemon. We have truly caused a large amount of trouble. Master Draven, you helped us even though we did those awful things. You are so worthy of the throne, you could say it's Dynamax amount of worthiness. I already told you to. Zacian and Zamazenta are the real royalty. Incorrect! We have abdicated the title to him. There's no other rulers but Draven. Hmm. Now that I look closely, you absolutely do have the air the air of celebrity. Well, fancy that. I think you've grown on them, Draven. Oh dear, reluctantly I am a I'm afraid we too must uh, must away. Our tour to apologize to those we've troubled awaits. Well then, goodbye! <laughs> Oi! Don't go running off on your own. Hop. Uh what? Just so you know, I saw your Pokemon battle against Champion Draven. You sure have gotten strong. You were so good, I nearly sent down my Charizard without thinking, wanting to join in on the fun. It seems you like... It seems like you found your own path to walk in life, Hop. As your older brother... No, as your rival, you have my full support. Uh, I do? Oh, damn. Here we go. The pose again. Great. Oh, Leon gave you some pretty high praise. You look like a Meowth's got your tongue, Hop. Ah, oh, zip it, Sonya. I do not. <laughs> Alright, I guess we should get going, too. Right. Then it's a race to see who gets back home first. Oh, well, look at that. Okay. Alrighty. The end. Well, that wasn't the proper ending to this whole thing right here, guys. But here we have the uh, 
Well, here we have the Pokedex right here. The Adventure Cross Gala region may find many more Pokemon to battle and catch. The Battle Tower in Winden has opened too. It's filled with trainers stronger than those you faced up until now. Challenge them if you dare. So, this is it, guys. Okay, I know that a few week or a few days ago, I have posted where I, I I have said that I'm going to take a break from uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield without even knowing about this whole thing right here. So. This is what's going to go on right now, guys, okay? This right here is the proper break to Pokemon Sword and Shield. I have already started a production on Pokemon Sun and Moon. We are going to get that off. Now, if you guys want a, uh, a timeline for when that is going to happen, it's going to be in June. That is no less than a few days from now, a few weeks from now, if, if by the time this post comes out and all that stuff. So... Again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being supportive of this whole walkthrough right here. Again, this is not the end of the walkthrough. This is just the proper pause to the walkthrough because we still have to go to the Isle of Armor and the uh, and the Crown Tundra, which we will explore in separate versions. So what's going to happen right here is when I return to Pokemon Sword and Shield, we are going to go in separate on separate paths. First off to the Isle of uh, Isle of Armor, and then to the Crown Tundra, and then from there, that is the complete end to this whole walkthrough right here. So again, thank you guys for being supportive. Thank you guys for following this walkthrough. I will see you guys next time when I come back to Galar to complete this whole thing right here. So make sure to stay tuned for Pokemon Sun and Moon. See you guys.